Okay, go ahead. Okay, so when someone has a surgery, whether it be an elective surgery or um, any kind of surgery, any kind, a necessary surgery to have, um, you know, let, let's say they are scheduled for surgery in a month. How would one use the Vitalzyme Ketsimese one two punch versus someone who had surgery four months ago versus someone who might have had surgery four years ago? Well, before I had surgery, I'd want to try the Vitazyme X, if possible, to avoid the surgery. Because a lot of times surgeries are performed on minor things that really don't need it. Such as what? What do you, what do you consider a minor surgery that one might well, be able any, to get any, help with? Any, the let's put it this way. Any, any joint area... Uh, anything around that joint, um, you know, somebody says, well, you, you need to get that shoulder done, or you need that knee done, or you need that hip done. Uh, I would start off with taking Vitazyme, which is going to deal with inflammation, which is why you get pain, and it also is going to get rid of the fibrosis buildup, and you may find you really don't need surgery. Okay, but well, let's 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 rephrase that because no matter how many vitals I might take, it's not going to reattach my ACL. No, no, no. We're not. I'm not talking about a complete tear. Okay, you're okay. talking about like um, like maybe a a, a, um, a rotor a rotor what is it called let's, rotary cuff. Let's talk about um, a hip socket replacement. Hip socket. Ah, okay. You know, um, you can't you can't keep going back in and having another one done. I mean, you know, if you're going to do that, you really want to wait till you're later in life mm -hmm. because it's only good for about 10 years. So, you know, you, if you're, you know, in your 30s, it would be rare, but 50s, you know, 60, the doctor says, well, you need to replace that hip joint. Well, Let's see if Vitazyme gets rid of the inflammation, the scar tissue, which is going to decrease the pain, and therefore you're going to move it again. And maybe you can postpone that surgery mm -hmm. for that hip replacement till you're 70. Mm -hmm. Well, then you've got 10 years that before you have to contemplate having the surgery again. Because what happens if you get your surgery in your 50s and then come, you come to your 60s or... In your 60s, you come to your 70s. That's still young. What happens after you've had the hip replacement and then it was worn out? Well, I, that's what I'm saying. If if you have, you know, it reaches a point that you've got to have it replaced. I mean, they've come a long ways with hip replacement, and they're great. But the problem is, once they cut the femur head off, mm -hmm. they can only go so far down to insert in the bone. Mm -hmm. So the next time... They've got to go below where they inserted it. Well, as you get further down the leg, the femur, the bone's smaller and thinner, and it won't hold drilling and putting an implant. And that's why you just can't keep going back over 10 years and getting another one. So you want to try everything possible you can to avoid it or postpone it as long as you can. Now, and that's, and that's where Vitazyme would come in. Okay, so... When it comes to those type of operations, um, you know, the, really the only reason why someone would think about getting an operation is because they have pain, right? I mean, let's say, for instance, you have no pain. For some reason, they just do a total, you know, MRI of your body, and they say, oh, your knee looks like or your hip looks like, um, you know, there it, it could be uh, time for a hip replacement. But if you don't have pain, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Because it's the pain that people are trying to get rid of, correct? Correct. Okay, so... I well, mean, you may walk around and have total movement mm -hmm. and have degeneration, but never be aware of it unless you have pain. Okay. So, so if, you get re if you reduce the inflammation, you reduce the appropriate receptors going to your brain telling you that you've got pain. So you're, you're going to avoid... You know, I have had patients for 30, over 30 years who've come in and said, you know, I've had three back surgeries. I don't care. I'm not going to have another one. Mm -hmm. And we can give them a treatment, and they get up and they go, 
wow, I haven't been able to do that in 10 years. Mm -hmm. There's other methods out there to help alleviate pain without surgery. Okay. So but hit like replacement. your situation mm -hmm. where it was, it was ripped, you know, mm -hmm. there's nothing else you can do. That's what surgeries are for. Mm -hmm. But you will probably always have pain there because of so much scar tissue. You can reduce it by using like Vitazyme to keep eating off that lumpy scar tissue. Okay, well, thankfully, I do these radio programs, so I knew to start taking my systemic enzymes. That's what Vitalzyme is, systemic enzymes.